everyone, it's time to get creative. I'm Rasmus and today I'm gonna teach you how to draw on Snapchat. Firstly, I want you to hit the bell, hit the like button, and double, triple smash the subscribe button. Today, I'm gonna teach you the artistic secrets of Snapchat. Seriously? Whoops, are you doing something important? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I will teach you the secrets of Snap. Uh, are you done? No! Oh, sorry. <laughs> the secrets of... What? I've got to ask you something. Then ask. I need you to teach me how to make cool art on Snapchat. N no, but... That that's what I'm doing right now. I need to know now. I gotta impress my streaks. Just wait a sec and watch the video. I've got no time. I've got 456 streaks to reply. 457. Just give me one tip, dude. Just watch the freaking video, man. Whoa. Inside voices, Rasmus. Shh. Sorry. You probably all know that you can draw on Snapchat, but can you make artwork like this? These are all my drawings from Snapchat. I've been practicing for a while, but now I'm gonna give you all my best tips. Lesson number one, colors and pen size. Doing this is how you change the pen size. Pinching. It's especially useful if you wanna draw in tiny details, or if you just wanna color in the whole thing. Voila. These are all the basic colors. You probably know that already. But do you know that if you take your finger and drag it to the left, you get all the special colors like dark green, gray, or brown. Dude, that's so basic. I know, but what if someone's grandma is watching this video and they don't know how to do it and they're super embarrassed? I mean... Totally unrealistic. Fine, I'll move on. Lesson number two, use a stylus. Your finger is probably much fatter than a normal pencil. That's why you need to use a stylus for drawing. Let me show you. Styluses come in all shapes and sizes, but basically they work the same. They have a soft rubber tip that are useful for drawing on a screen. These two I got from Flying Tiger. They cost me like $1. This is the same price, it's from wish.com. And these two I actually got for free. They're like company pens or something. These two styluses are from Bamboo. They're a bit more expensive, but they're better quality and they have this safety net around the rubber protecting the stylus. This one is useful to carry in your pocket because it has a lid that protects the entire stylus. These two styluses are a bit different. They're from a brand called Adonit and I think actually that's my favorite brand to work with, but also the most expensive. They work better because they're more precise, they're better quality and this one is actually kind of smart because it's magnetic and sticks to the back of your iPhone. To get started, you can use any of these styluses for sure. Lesson number three, how to zoom. Let me show you how this works. So first I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna triple tap on my screen and I can zoom in on the image. Whoa, that's really close, let's not do that. Zooming is not really a Snapchat thing. It's actually an iPhone thing. Sorry, Android guys. Go to settings on your iPhone then you find general, you go into accessibility, then you find the one called magnifier and you turn that one on. Now, if we go back to Snapchat, you're able to triple tap with your fingers and you get this zooming thing. You're able to change how much it zooms in so you can get super duper close. And you can also resize the lens if you want it to be bigger or smaller. Voila, that's my nose. Cool, now you know how to zoom. Zoom in, Whoa. zoom out, zoom Whoa. in, zoom what? out, zoom what's in. What's happening? Zoom in, zoom out, zoom Stop in, zoom it. Out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Moving. Here are some quick tips how to practice your Snapchat skills. Lesson number one, make something come alive. Everything can be a funny character if you put eyes and a mouth on it. Like, um, like, take this plant. What if uh, this was the hair and then you put maybe eyes on it? Let me just snap a picture. Voila. Or what about this lamp? Like, 
Maybe it could be a dragon. Ta da! Whoa. What about those pillows? I'm pretty sure they could be my new friends. If I just go to selfie mode here, I get like maybe. That's it, guys. Smile! You can use any object you want. Try it out for yourself and snap your friends. I'm outside! Hey, guys! Idea number two is spicing up your selfies. Probably 99.3% of all the snaps you send are selfies. So why not spice them up with some cool drawing instead of a boring old filter? Here are some ideas. Actually, some of these drawings are from my Instagram account. If you want to go and get some inspiration, go check it out. It's at Hello Rasmus on Instagram. Idea number three is telling a story. You can actually make stop motion animation on Snapchat. And it's super easy. All you need is one good picture. And for this, we're gonna use my big old buddy here. <laughs> He's my most trashy friend. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. But it's true, he eats other people's trash. Great, what are we gonna do if we're gonna take a cool, nice photo? You can do this in your camera roll or just with Snapchat. Okay, let me see, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do like this. When you have your photo, swipe up and select camera roll. Pick the photo you wanna draw on and press edit and now you're ready for drawing. Make your drawing, it could be anything, and when you're done, press save down in the corner and save image. Now you delete the drawing you just made and you draw the same thing again, but a little different. Do this as many times as you like. I think I did it five times. When you're done with all your drawings, post them in the order that you made them. Make sure to set each drawing to one second when you post them on your story or snap them to your friends. Congrats, you now made a stop motion video on Snapchat. Now you're ready to become a Jedi master. No, I mean, uh, defeat Voldemort. No, no, uh, a Snapchat artist. That's it, good luck with that. And uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, comment them down below, I'll be happy to help. And also, make sure to share your drawings with me on Instagram. Just post a picture and add Hello Rasmus. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want some more creativity in your life. I'll post videos every Sunday, and uh, so I'll see you Sunday. Stay creative, guys. Bye! Thank you for watching this video. I really hope it inspired you to be more creative. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Unless I'm abducted by aliens who will teleport me to their spaceship and eat my brain. I seriously hope that won't happen. Bye.